If you already have a Dropbox account, the first thing you'll want to do is secure it with a pin. Tap open, then tap the gear button. Enter your pin. And now when you open Nebulous Notes, you will be presented with a pin screen. If you forget your PIN, you are given 9 more attempts before it resets your PIN and logs you out of Dropbox. One of the cool things about Nebulous Notes is how easy it is to create daily logs. The way to do this is to enable the macro bar. Tap the AA button, scroll down until you see macros, then switch on the macro bar. Now when you start editing, you will be presented with this handy macro bar. As you can see, there is already a preset macro for day and time. Sometimes if you open international files, the text may appear garbled. If that's the case, you may need to change your encoding. Tap the AA button. Scroll down to encoding. And select the appropriate encoding. Then reopen the document and everything should look alright. If you notice the files are still garbled when you open them on your PC or Mac, you may need to upgrade your text editor. For the Mac, I recommend the free app Text Wrangler. And for the PC, I recommend the free app Notepad++ or the paid app TextPad. Nebulous Notes is designed so that when you exit, then reopen, it brings up the most recent document. If you don't want this to happen, tap Open, then tap the Splash button. One of my favorite features is the ability to customize themes. A good example is the Dream Journaler preset theme. Tap the AA button and scroll down to Themes. Tap Dream Journaler. This darkens the screen so that when you wake up you won't get blinded. It also enlarges the text so that you don't have to fumble for your glasses. Nebulous Notes also has an interesting word count feature. Tap the AA button, scroll down to word count, and you can see how many words are in your doc. Tapping on it takes you to a screen with a character count and an optional goal setting. Tap here to set a goal, and it will tell you how far along you are. Thank you.